Did you know that these Ask RC podcasts are only available on YouTube? I don't send them to typical uh, podcast distributors. I do link to YouTube every day from uh, uh, my my Twitter account and from uh, my Facebook account with my wife, Lisa. But the only way to get them is on YouTube. I mention this because it's, it is my hope that these are blessing you and that you find them helpful. That's why you're listening. And so I, I'm going to ask you right now if you would be kind enough uh, to leave a like and a comment. If you would be willing to click the bell to share this one or some other one that you've enjoyed or been blessed by uh, and through your social media and that you would also subscribe so that you can get them uh, all the time. That's my request, but I only have five minutes, so I got to hurry and get to my question for today, which is this, are souls, human souls, are they immortal? And I'm going to give you an answer that might somewhat surprise you because I'm going to start with no, no, they're not. Human souls are not immortal. And the reason we know this is because human souls are not God. If God wanted our souls to no longer exist, he wouldn't find himself stuck and say, well, shucks, I wish I could do something about this, but look, they're immortal. What am I going to do? No, he's God and he's all powerful. And if he wanted to eliminate, annihilate our souls, he could do it just as easily as he could eliminate or annihilate our bodies. He's God. That said, it is true that our souls will last forever. Well, how can our souls not be immortal and yet say that we're going to last forever? It's very simple. We're going to last forever. Our souls are going to last forever because God has decided that they should. He has assured us that he will sustain us for eternity. Remember Paul quoting the Greek philosopher said in him, we live and move and have our being. That which maintains us, that which sustains us, which upholds us, which keeps us from falling into the abyss of non-being is God. And God has said, the God who cannot lie. God has said that we will, in fact, live forever. In fact, let me tell you something I wasn't even intended to mention. Not only will our souls last and live forever, so will our bodies. Our redeemed, incorruptible, immortal bodies that we will receive when Jesus returns. It's important for us to remember that those bodies uh, have points of contact and continuity with our current bodies. That is, our old body, our, the bodies we're walking around in now don't disappear and we get a brand spanking new, untouched, fresh off the presses body. But instead, our bodies that we have now will be transformed. They'll be changed. They'll be perfected. They'll be completed and they too, just like our spirits, will last forever. So our souls and our bodies, neither one, are inherently in themselves by their very nature, eternal. But both are by reason of God's sure and certain promise and his sovereign power, both will, in fact, last forever. And by the way, true for us and those who die outside the faith. When Jesus returns, their bodies too will be raised, and their bodies and their spirits will be reunited, but it will not be a happy meeting. And then both will suffer in the fire that never dies. Remember that death is a passing from one form of existence to another. And we look forward to the return of Jesus when our bodies will be raised again. And we know with certainty, because God is true, 
that we will, body and soul, last forever. <laughs>